Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain Iowa child support and college expenses as well as other post high school education expenses. So a lot of people ask the question, even though child support usually terminates when the child becomes an adult, can one parent or the other be required to pay child support to support the child through college? Well, the answer is yes, but it's not necessarily mandatory. Either parent or the child can request post-secondary education subsidies in order to help the child with certain college or post-high school education expenses, and these are paid by the parents. The judge can issue a college support order if good cause is shown after considering the parent's financial resources and the needs of the child. So unlike child support when the child is a minor, which is mandatory, this is based on showing good cause. So how do courts determine good cause? Well, they look at several factors. These include the age of the child. Uh, it's only usually awarded for children between the age of 17 and 23. Uh, the child's ability to receive post-secondary education, the child's own financial resources, whether the child is self-sustaining, and the financial situation of each parent. So once we've determined, or the court has determined, that child support for college or other post-high school expenses are appropriate, the next step is calculating the amount. And this is determined by taking the cost of post-secondary education and subtracting out the child's expected contribution. So let's talk about cost first. The cost of post-secondary education includes the price of tuition, room, board, books, supplies, and student health costs. And then you take that amount and subtract out the child's expected contribution. And this is determined by looking at the child's financial resources, the ability of any financial aid, such as government subsidies or student loans, uh, and the ability of the child to work during school in order to earn an income. So once you get the amount, the total amount that the parents are going to be uh, required to pay towards college expenses after taking the total cost minus the child's expected contribution, the amount for each parent is based on each parent's financial resources. The amount that each parent pays towards uh, college expenses cannot exceed one-third of the total cost for each parent. So any, if each parent paying one-third doesn't get to the total cost, uh, the child's going to re be required to pay the rest. And they'll usually be required to pay whatever they can anyway through their own resources. College support can be terminated if the child doesn't maintain a cumulative GPA, at least in the median range, and obviously if the child doesn't stay in school. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you need some help, please give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We have several geographic locations for your convenience, and we offer free consultations in many areas of law. If you found this helpful, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to us on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts or watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.